Slide Street by Hot Wheels, you are on deck. Okay guys, David at Twice Diecast and kind of pumped, was in Target not, not more than an hour ago and found this entire set. There were five premium Hot Wheels hanging on the pegs and wouldn't you know that all five were one through five of the Slide Street. Let's take a look at this pretty new premium set uh, from the Car Culture Series with Hot Wheels. First up is a nice S14, Nissan Silvia. FD Formula Drift, don't know a thing about it. Not gonna act like I have any idea if any of these cars have real liveries or not. Uh, I think this one is real. It seems to be pretty legit and just not a big enough um, car fan. I love cars, of course, but I'm just not uh, into this culture as much. So they are cool cars. I know a lot of people like them, so we will review them today and then we will Pack them back up and give them away as a prize in a future giveaway. So this is a really strong Sylvia. This is an S14. We've got a carbon fiber hood on it. You got the Formula Drift Hot Wheels logo on it. You got the wrap all down the side. Coming around on the rear, you've got painted, or I maybe that's even like a, I guess it's paint, right? Is it tampoed with a lot of clear coat on it? You got some speakers on the back package tray. That's pretty cool. Uh, exhaust, metal body, metal base, black base on this one. This is your base on that. Nissan logo right there in the middle. Two side view mirrors, that's pretty good. So this is a really cool, if you are a Sylvia fan, JDM fan, will love this one. Jumped right out of my hand. And um, yeah, it's a cool one. All right, so we will put it off to the side. Keep looking at number two. I think number two, maybe not gonna be my favorite, but it is a really cool casting. We just saw this casting on the Fast and Furious set. This is the GR Supra, the 2020 Supra. Check out your card art on that. Really cool pandem kit on it nice white five spokes that really was a good choice by them toyota ready pandem on the wing and then you've got some other sponsors here on the roof look you've got a roll cage in the back here and look at the profile of that super pretty good pretty good indeed uh, Left-hand drive vehicle, Toyota on the bonnet here. Uh, tampoed headlamps. And just a load of sponsors. Got a black painted base. Second one that we've had, black painted base. They might all be kind of sneaking a peek ahead. And that's a really cool one. So that is your new 2020 Supra. Up next, I think this one might be my favorite, the AE86 with the gold rims. Look at that thing laying down some rubber. Pretty cool. Bill Steen, I see on the door. Let me just clear up my workspace here. All right, so we've got uh, three colors on your stripes. I love the lowered stance. You know, after they redid this casting a couple years ago, it really improved for me. Didn't know a lot about this car, but it is just a wildly cool car. All right, Bilstein, TRO, Valvoline. And I don't know what the point of that black square on the hood is. That's kind of interesting. They do give you black on the door handle. Another black base toyota ae86 and look how the decals wrap around the back here tampo headlamps that's a cool one yep that's a cool one. all right so up next number four probably going to be another favorite of some people the falcon livery is always pretty popular and this is the subaru brz 
in the Pandem body kit again. You can see the wide body around the fenders. I think that's your Pandem uh, fingerprint on that. Big wing on this thing. Falcon is always a sharp livery. Can't argue that. And this is probably my favorite Falcon livery to date. Maybe that big pickup. I can't remember which one, like that Desert Baja truck. That was pretty cool. So this is a right-hand drive. Subaru BRZ was also in, I think, one of the Fast and Furious sets. Someone will correct me if I'm wrong on that. Subaru on the bonnet. Tampoed headlamps. And you've got like, some additional vents underneath that Falcon under the headlamp. Side vents painted. Really nice 10 spoke wheels on these. Look at that. Coming around on the rear, sharp, ready on the license plate, Subaru badge above it, and then some tail lamps, falcontire.com. Plastic wing on this one, but that is a pretty sharp vehicle. Another right hand drive vehicle, so that's pretty cool. Last one, number five, we got a little bit of American flavor on this one. It is the 20 Ford Mustang RTR Spec 5. That's a mouthful. I don't know what a whole lot of that means. I know it's a Mustang. And looks like, you know, we've got some pretty cool, I don't know if you can see. The interior looks like bucket seats for a change. Look at that interior. That's pretty good detail for a Hot Wheels interior. Bucket seats, you've got a gear shift, you got a Steering wheel that's not a, a stump or a tombstone as chasing diecast cars refers to them sometimes. 10 spokes again, neon green, green wing, and a pretty wild deco on this one. Fun haver, okay? Ford badge on the door, a lot of sponsors. Coming around the front, you got some green lensed lamps, not lensed on the car that I'm holding, but in real life, looks like some green lenses on the vehicle itself. Nice grill work on this one as part of the base, I would imagine. Chin spoiler is part of this metal base, painted black, that worked out great. That's a pretty sharp car. What do y'all think? Coming around on the rear, got the Easily recognizable Mustang lamps, kind of all blended together. Looks like maybe nitro written on the bottom there. And it's pretty good to get the dual exhaust like that built into the base. Almost a little bit of a depression for that. So impressed with the interior on this one. I think the colors of the splashes of neon green are just right. Yeah, I don't mind that one at all. So that is our slide street set from Hot Wheels. I hope you enjoyed it. This is David at Twice Diecast. I will see you on the next one, guys.